anything that will make you stand before Jesus ultimately and you'll be crying. It's not worth it. Number 37. The Holy Spirit enables us to know that Jesus abides in us. 1 John chapter 3, verse 24. The Holy Spirit confesses Jesus came in the flesh. 1 John chapter 4, verse 2. This is the reason why it's impossible for a man who is truly filled with the Holy Spirit to deny the person of the Lord Jesus as coming in the flesh. What does that mean? First and foremost, it means Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He came into this world in a bodily form. Anyone that cannot boldly say that does not have the Holy Spirit. Secondly, it means that the Holy Spirit indwelling us helps us to be more Christ-like so that every day the Lord Jesus Christ comes on the scene on the face of the earth through you and I. Anyone that cannot say this or that does not believe this simply does not know the Lord Jesus. Number 39, the Spirit of God says, Come Lord Jesus along with the bride. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. The Holy Spirit is desirous for the return of the Lord Jesus. And so he walks hard and walks tirelessly through the church of God to ensure that global evangelism is possible, to ensure that the church is effective in our duty that Jesus Christ has committed to our hands. Number 40, the Holy Spirit dispenses God's love into our hearts. The assurance of hope, the confidence of his return, knowing also that when we stand before him, we'll not be ashamed. It is the Holy Spirit that does that in our heart. Number 41, the Holy Spirit bears weakness to truth in our conscience. Romans chapter 9 verse 1. This is the reason why a child of God must never neglect his conscience because that is where the Holy Spirit works from. It quickens our conscience. Number 42, the Holy Spirit teaches us. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13, John 14, 26. Number 43, the Holy Spirit gives us joy. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Number 44, the Holy Spirit enables us to preach the gospel. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 12. You will find out that many times, many of God's people are ashamed to preach the gospel. Many times it's not for the lack of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Many times it's the lack of the infilling or the empowering of the Holy Spirit that enables a man to be bold and not to look at the faces of men, but to share the gospel with them. It is supernatural operation. It's a supernatural faculty. It's part of the reason we need the person of the Holy Spirit. Number 45, the Holy Spirit moves us. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. Number 46, the Holy Spirit knows the things of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Number 47, the Holy Spirit casts out demons. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. How does he do it? He does it through us. When you and I cast out demons in the name of Jesus, the power of God that goes to work is the person of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said to them, if by the Holy Spirit I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God is upon you. Number 48, the Holy Spirit brings things to our remembrance. John chapter 14, verse 26. Number 49, the Holy Spirit comforts us. Acts of Apostles, chapter 9, verse 31. And lastly, number 50, the Holy Spirit makes some overseers in the church, sends some out to work, do church planting work through the body. Acts of Apostles, chapter 20, verse 28, and chapter 13, verse 2. The Holy Spirit unites us with Jesus Christ and to his body. The Spirit of God reveals Christ to us. It gives us life. It makes Christ alive in us. The Spirit takes the experiences of Jesus, his incarnation, his ministry, his crucifixion, his resurrection, his ascension, and bring them into our experiences because the Holy Spirit, the history of of Jesus Christ becomes our story and experience. Unfortunately, some movements have become known for their excesses in regard to the Holy Spirit. Why some movements are known for their excesses in regard for the Holy Spirit, the New Day Church is largely known for her disregard for the Holy Spirit. 
although there's a lot of confession going on around as as par or as regarding the holy spirit not much is seen as far as the fruit that testifies to his work and his presence in our midst not much is seen i know that there is a lot of information in this particular broadcast my desire is not to disciple you through one broadcast my desire is to inform you with the longing and the desire that you will go into your closet you will seek the lord you will commune with the spirit of god and you yourself will begin a study in god's word i round up saying this now than ever before my friend you and i need the holy spirit because in the last days the bible tells us familiar spirit will be at work and the activity amongst men will be all time high the bible tells us in first timothy chapter 4 it says that because the holy spirit indicates that in the last days many will depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons if you don't know the voice of the holy spirit you will listen to the voice of seducing spirits it is to this end i believe the holy spirit has led me to bring this broadcast to you it's my prayer that you will know him it's my prayer that you meet him it's my prayer that you would allow him if you're a pastor listening to this broadcast may i quickly let you in on this that when the holy spirit works it does not work with pride and arrogance it doesn't work to make a statement to the world you know when jesus rose up from the dead he never went to any of the people that accused him of wrong he didn't go to the palace to show himself if he did that there'll be no controversy today and he did not go to the public to announce to the world that the high priest were all wrong what did he do he appeared to his own he spoke to them he gave them a commission he was taken up to heaven you have no ministry of showmanship the holy spirit is the one that work let's allow him to work and our ministries will be reckoned with in this generation and in generations to come it is my prayer that you will not live in vain it is my prayer that you will not run only to be disqualified in the end this is where i stop if you have not accepted the lord jesus as your lord and savior i plead with you by the mercies of god that you do so because it's important is the singular most important person to ever grace the stage of the earth hmm. there is no alternative to jesus there is no substitute to righteousness till i come your way again i look forward to hearing from you what this broadcast has done for you you can contact me by mail pastor kg ajayi at yahoo.com our phone numbers are down the screen you can make inquiries the lord bless you till i come your way another time please stay blessed